Hi everyone, so today we're going to be talking about how to use the Big Future tool to research colleges um, so that we can start building our college lists. So uh, to find this tool, I go to bigfuture.collegeboard.org and then it'll take me to this main website. There are two ways we're going to talk about using this tool today. The first one is using the different filter settings to help us create a curated list based on our interests. And then the second one is researching schools using the search tool based on schools that we've already heard of before and want to learn a little bit more about. So if I want to um, search for colleges, there's two different ways I can start using that search tool. I can either click here or I can go up to find colleges and then scroll down here to college search. So I'm going to click on college search. And then once I do that, I'm brought to this page. We're waiting for my computer to load. There we go. Um, of these different filters. So we notice that we start with 3,711 colleges. That's about how many we have in our nation. Um, maybe even international included on here. So we don't want to have to review all of those. Um, so we're going to start filtering with our interests so that we can get a better idea of what schools fit our own personal needs. I always advise students not to get too filter happy, especially if they're in, in their initial phases of their college research. The reason I say this is because um, it could mean missing out on a school that would be a really great fit for you, but because of the way you filtered for it, it maybe got cut out of your list. Um, and that's not because it's not a fit, it's just because it didn't meet the exact filter category. So an example of this would be especially in the majors and learning environment section. Um, this is where I see students accidentally rule out, accidentally rule out a school that would have been a really good fit for them. Um, so something that students might do is start to filter for major. We want to try to stray away from this for um, a few reasons. One, um, the biggest one being that a lot of colleges name majors different things. So for example, something as simple as biology can be called biology on one campus, it can be called bio, biological sciences on another campus, it can be called human biology on another campus. But if we only filter for the one specific major, we might be ruling out options that would have been a good fit for us. So we're gonna try to stray away from using this tool. Um, we could try and use out the field of study uh, tool if we're really feeling like we wanna narrow our list more. But I highly recommend not typing in a specific major, it could rule out an option for you that could be a good fit. Um, the other thing you'll see on this filter are study options, um, and most schools will offer these things to you. So again, if you check these off, um, it could end up narrowing your list too small. So we want to try and stay away from this tool in the beginning. For example, if you know you want to study abroad, you can comfortably assume that most U.S. colleges will offer that to you. You don't really have to filter it on here. Um, most schools will also likely allow you to double major. So things that you're probably already thinking about, um, you can go ahead and not have to use that filter tool on this site. So um, now let's look at the filters that we should be using. Um, the first one I always tell students to start with is location. So there's a few different ways we can use the location filter. The first one is to search by uh, distance from your home zip code. So um, if I'm searching from the distance of High School for Health Professions and Human Services, let's say I wanna stay within 100 miles, I would go 100 miles and then I would type in our school 003, that's our school zip code. And then you'll see up here, I have 251 results already. So that cut out a large portion of that 3,000 colleges we saw before. We're down to 251 just based on distance from our school zip code. The other way we could do this is look at the different um, regions or states. So we'll notice here we have the different regions of the US. If you know you wanna go out west for college, you could select west and that would show you all schools out west. Um, or you can filter for uh, state. So let's say for example, I know that I wanna to go to school in New York and only New York. I could click New York. And then I'll see up here, I have 231 results. Um, if you wanted to go to school internationally, you could also use this filter to uh, filter for different countries. So that's our first filter I always tell students to play around with because we probably know comfortably how far we wanna be from our home, um, whether that be within the five boroughs of New York City or whether that be a uh, thousand miles across the country, totally up to you, but you probably already have an idea so you know you can play around with this filter because that's a need that you have. You also have the option over here uh, to decide how important that requirement is for you. So for example, if I have to go to school in New York, if that's really important to me, I'm gonna make that a must have. 
Um, if it's just something I want and it's not super like a deal breaker for me, I could move the filter down um, to make it a want instead of a must have and that might expand my options a little bit. The other filter we're gonna play around with is type of school. So up here we see there's a few different things we can select. We have two year or four year um, college or university. It, this is all dependent on the type of degree that you want. So if you're only looking to earn an associate's degree, um, you would click two-year community college, or if you're looking to earn a bachelor's degree, you would click four-year college or university. Um, so for the purposes of this search, I'm gonna select um, the four-year college option um, because I wanna earn my bachelor's. So that's the first filter I have. Um, so we see here now my results have gone down to 167 up top. The next thing I'm gonna be looking at is public, private, or for-profit colleges. This is referring to the type of funding that the school receives. Um, in your search right now, whether a school is public or private, um, probably won't make uh, that significant of a difference for you. Um, when we say public, we're talking about CUNY or SUNY schools in New York State. Um, that refers to schools that are getting funding from the New York government. Um, Private colleges are getting funded by endowments and donations uh, from alumni and other people that have money to donate to those colleges. Um, they can often be very affordable, um, so don't rule out a private college because you think a public college might be less expensive. Not necessarily the case. So in your search, I would recommend highlighting uh, or selecting both of these. I would strongly advise against selecting a for-profit college um, those colleges often look really inexpensive initially and then end up tacking on a lot of hidden fees and becoming really expensive for you. So um, in general, the college office says stay away from for-profit for colleges if you can. Next, we're looking at school size. So again, this is a personal preference. Um, you can think about how you see your campus. So do you see yourself going to um, a huge school, going to D1 football games, or having a gigantic campus with lots of, um, you know, graduate students and other people, um, so more of like a university system? Or um, do you see yourself at a smaller school where you're recognizing a lot of people on your campus, your class sizes are really small, um, you are all located within um, one college versus a bunch of colleges all over a university. This again is a personal preference. There's pros and cons to uh, all different types of college sizes, but again, up to you. I went to a small to medium sized college, so I'm gonna select both of those for this practice search that we're doing together. The last thing we can filter for, or the last two rather, are um, if you want a single sex or co-ed college. So um, if you know you wanna go to um, a college with all people of the gender that you identify with, you could select um, here or we could select a co-ed college. Um, the other option we have is to do a religious affiliation. So you don't have to select this. Um, if though, for example, you wanted to go to a college that was affiliated with your religion, you could filter for that on here as well. So that's our type of school filter. Um, and then the last thing we're gonna filter for over here is paying. So um, we want to think about how much financial aid we're going to be getting from a college in our initial search because it's a really important factor in making a decision about a college. So in the search on this tool, I usually recommend students uh, filter for about 80% of financial need, knowing that in a perfect world, we're getting us to a school that meets about 90 to 100% of our need. Um, but for the purposes of this tool, we'll filter for 80%. You don't have to worry about um, filtering for the rest of these. Uh, most colleges will offer you work study. Um, if you're an international student and you wanna find out a little bit more, you might wanna filter for international students on here. Um, and uh, you will get fee waivers for your application, so you don't have to worry about filtering for this. Um, the other option uh, you have on here, which I don't suggest using, is filtering for the cost um, of tuition. Again, you don't know how much financial aid you're going to be getting for a college, so we're not really thinking about sticker price. Most colleges at this point are over $60,000, at least private colleges, but with financial aid you can get that cost down to zero or a very small cost. So we suggest not filtering here um, because it can give you a false sense of what schools are actually going to be affordable for you. So the only filter you're really using on the paying feature is um, meeting at least 80% of your financial need. So now I'm gonna close and see my results. 
And I see that I have 59 colleges that I can look for just based on those few filters. So do we see how if we had gotten a little more crazy with the filters, we would maybe be down to such a small list. Um, and that's not going to serve us well, for, especially for in our initial phases of research. Um, this is a really great place to start. And then what I can do is continue to scroll all the way down. I'll see that there's three pages of results here for me. And then I can um, start to look at these colleges a little bit more closely. So I'm looking at this list right now. I'm going to click on Hamilton College and learn a little bit more. So this just took me to the Hamilton College snapshot page. That's the other feature of this website is um, it gives you uh, more specific information on the schools once you filtered for them. So you see here, we have the website for the college. So if there's anything that you can't find directly on the snapshot, you can always go to the school's website. It'll take you directly to it. Um, we get some quick facts. Um, and then we also have some things we can learn about on the side here. So for example, majors and learning environment. Here we can see all of the majors that the school offers. Um, so the full list is here. You can also find this on the school's website. We see what the most popular majors are, which might be a big factor for you. It might mean that that's a more competitive major at that school. So um, you can look to see, as, for example, at Hamilton, a lot of people are majoring in the social sciences and the physical sciences. Um, so that's another feature we have on here. We can look at campus life. Um, here we see information about the diversity of a campus, which leads me to another filter we could have done on the Big Future tool. There is an option to filter for diversity and you can do that. And for example, like we did, uh, like we talked about in the beginning of this video, you could make it a want versus a must have. The reason I encourage that is um, a lot of competitive colleges in the United States, unfortunately, are still working towards having true diversity on their campus. Um, if having a really diverse campus is a must have for you, that is totally fine. And there are colleges that do exist that have more diversity than others. Um, if you are um, considering maybe being part of the change to create more diversity on campuses, you might wanna um, be careful with the way you filter for diversity because unfortunately it will cut out a lot of options for you. Um, it is an unfortunate reality in the world of colleges that a lot of competitive schools happen to be predominantly white institutions. Um, we are seeing a lot of change in our world right now. Um, and with that is the hope that a lot of these schools will continue to make greater diversity efforts and start to um, create more diversity on their campuses and create more opportunities for students that aren't white. Um, but that is, as we see here, for example, Hamilton College, a very competitive, great school in New York, unfortunately has 64% white students on their campus. So it's a predominantly white institution. Um, you have to think about what you're going to be comfortable with um, and with that uh, decide how you want to filter for diversity in your search. Um, a great way to find out about a school's efforts is making a connection with the admissions office and asking them what are the services offered for um, you know students of color on your campus. Can I connect with one of them? I want to learn about their experience there um, just to get an idea of if that's a place where you're going to feel like you can thrive and connect with people. Um, so you'll always find the information on race and ethnicity on this, uh, on this website. And then you can always kind of decide um, how that makes you feel. Talk to your college advisor about it, connect with the admissions office about it and see what efforts the school is making to create more diversity on their campus. Um, the other thing we're gonna click on here is the paying tab. So as we know, we filtered on here for um, percent of financial need met. So we know that this school meets um, high financial need because we filtered for it. Um, we see the estimated total. I always say to go to the financial aid website for this um, just to get a better idea because sometimes this website isn't the most up to date with financial aid information, um, but it's still good to see um, just to get an idea of how much the school might cost you. So um, that is just the first glance at this school. The other thing we can see once we click on Hamilton on the side here is other colleges that people viewed when they were viewing Hamilton College. So maybe these schools weren't on your initial filters, but you might wanna look at them more. Um, the great thing about these snapshots on the side is they already tell you initially what the percentage of financial need met is. So you already know before you click on it if it's a school that's affordable for you, um, which is really exciting. 
So that's one way we can use this tool. The other way would just be to type in in the search for college feature. So let's say for example, I only filter to be 50 miles away from New York City, but I also um, really like Boston University. I can just search the school in here, even if it wasn't on my filter list. And then it'll give me that school snapshot. Um, so same as with Hamilton, we have the Boston University snapshot here. Um, as you're getting closer to when you're gonna start your college applications, if you're logged into your College Board account when you're using this tool, you can just click add to my list and then it'll save it in your College Board account for you. So as you're playing around with this and you're starting to like schools a lot more, um, you can start to add schools to your list so that you remember which ones you like. Um, so those are the two ways to use this tool. Um, we really love this tool for college research. It really offers you a lot of great things and information. Um, and those snapshots are really awesome versus having to dig around on the school's website. So you can find all different kinds of colleges on here, including CUNY's and SUNY's and private schools. So this is a tool that we love to use in the college office. And we highly recommend you get started with using it yourself. I hope this uh, video helped you kind of organize it a little bit and have fun with all of your research.